Hey everyone, so today I'll be doing this look for you guys, it's just really simple, I was just heading out to Luna Park Sydney this day, so it's just very simple and very easy to create, so if you want to learn how to do it, just stay tuned. First step I'm doing today is taking my Smashbox colour correcting stick in green to cover up any redness I may have on my face, including pimples, however that one on my head up there I was fighting a losing battle with that day. Instead of applying it straight to the pimple so I wasn't creating too much bacteria transfer in my makeup, I decided to use my finger and also it was really painful to put it on top of that. I'm also putting it around my nose and blending that out with my finger. I'm taking my concealer and I'm just popping that straight over wherever I put that green just to help cover it up. Don't worry too much because we're going to put foundation on top and then even if it's still showing through, you can always pop some more concealer on. This concealer is the Maybelline New York Fit Me in shade 15. I think it's Fair Claire and I'm just taking a paddle brush to blend that out. up is foundation. I'm taking my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in the shade 115 and this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It's just a really dense round top face brush and I'm just stippling that all over my face and really buffing it out. Forgetting about the neck, you want to bring your foundation down your neck, behind your ears and even on your ears just to make sure everything blends really, really well. Also make sure that your skin is really, really well buffed out. Next up, I'm taking that same concealer that we used before under our foundation over that green and I'm using that to conceal my dark circles under my eyes. I like to go in a triangle shape, excuse that pouty face, to kind of help highlight my face as well. And then I'll be taking that same paddle brush to blend that out. I'm also taking that concealer on my nose, on my chin and on my forehead to help highlight those areas as well. bit of that concealer on my eyelids as well to help kind of correct my eyelid color. Um, I'm not worrying about this too much as I am going to put another concealer on top to act as my eyeshadow base as I don't have an eye primer at the moment. Just making sure that all that is really well blended out. I'm just using a paddle brush. You can use any sort of brush that you like. Don't mind my awkward face pulling here, I must have got something in my eye as I was really buffing and blending that out. Um, so yeah, just ignore that. I'm just taking some lip balm, this one's by Revo, and just applying that to my lips. 
Next I'm taking my Take Me On Tour palette by Astralis and I'm taking the Banana Powder shade 1 with this Real Techniques setting brush for under my eyes. I'm just really loading up the brush, packing it on and making sure it's really well blended out. This will just help our concealer stay in place all day long and will help it not crease and just look beautiful all day. It's time to set the rest of the face. I'm taking Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in the shade Natural and I'm also taking a big powder brush and I'm going to load up the brush, stamp all the powder on my face and once my face is covered in powder I'm going to really buff that out and make sure it looks nice and flawless. Don't forget about your neck and your ears where you did put that foundation because you definitely don't want that to crease throughout the day. Next I'm taking this contour brush and I'm also taking my Australis AC on tall contouring and highlighting kit and I'm taking that warm brown shade in the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to use that to bronze up my skin. I'm using this to bronze up my cheeks, my temples, my nose and a bit on my chin as well. On my cheeks I am putting this where I would contour, bronze, blush and highlight just because I feel like it gives you a nice warm sun kissed look. Next up is contouring and I'm taking this Real Techniques Sculpting Brush and I'm taking that Australis Take Me On Tour Contouring and Highlighting Kit again and I'm taking the darkest shade to contour my cheekbones with. You say you sit down, it's just talk he smiles politely back at you You stare politely right on through Some sort of window to I'm also contouring my forehead, nose and a little bit on my chin just under my bottom lip And I'm doing that with the same brush and the same powder you came with Next up, I am going to be blushing with Models Prefer Summer Glow. It's a mineral blush. And I'm taking this stippling brush by Real Techniques. I'm really loading it up because this is more of a sheer shimmer product. So I really load up the brush and pack it on. It blends out and just looks beautiful. I also took this colour, but it didn't really do much as it was lighter than the original colour I put down. I do feel like it gave just a little bit more of a pinky tint. Now it's time for eyes, so let me zoom you in. Now I'm going in with my Jeffree Star Androgyny palette and I'm taking Safe Word and Androgyny on a round top crease brush. This one is by Real Techniques again. I'm just popping that in the crease and really buffing it out. This brush is amazing. It really packs in colour and blends out at the same time. Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend somewhere along in the bitterness and I would have Going back into that palette, I'm now taking Charm on that same brush and I'm putting that straight on top, a bit more deeper into the crease and just blending that out really nicely, just for a hint of bright colour in there. I'm now going in with a short shadow brush and I'm going to dip into frosting from the Jeffree Star palette. You guys can skip this step if you like because I personally don't like this particular colour. I like every other colour in this palette except for this one. I feel like the pigment isn't really there. I will try it though with spraying some of my setting sprays. So I then went into this BH Cosmetics Shanexo palette 
it's and took the shimmery light color in the middle at the top I totally dinged that other color while I was doing it and I totally didn't notice until like a week later and I was like oh my god how did that happen oh you gotta hate it when you do that anyway I'm just putting that right on top of where I put frosting I'm now going in with this fluffy crease blender brush and I'm going to take dominatrix from the Jeffree Star palette and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye. I'm really building up the color and buffing it out at the same time and I'm going to bring just a little bit of that into the crease as well. Just remembering to really smoke this out and blend it out and make it look really really smoky and sexy. I'm going back in with that short shadow brush that I was using with the Shanexo colour and I'm just going over that line to help make it look more seamless between that really light colour and dominatrix. I'm also doing the exact same on the other eye, making sure that everything is really seamless, really well blended and looks very smoky and sexy. I'm now going in with the shade Fetish from the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette on that same brush we were using for the outer corner and I'm just smoking out that bottom lash line. I also decided to put just a little bit of that colour on top of Dominatrix and it just helps make the whole look come together with that really nice smoky red and smoky brown colours. As you can see I am bringing that fetish colour in very close to my inner corner. That's because I want this eye look to look very smoky and very sexy. Here you can see I'm putting a bit of fetish on top of that brown and into that crease as well. I feel this just pulls the the look together amazingly. Now that I'm finished with most of the powders on my face, I'm going in with my Models Prefer Benali or Final Makeup Setting Mist, I believe it's called, and then I'm moving on to brows. So I'm taking Australis Browse It Eyebrow Kit. And I'm taking the gel wax side with the brush it comes with and I'm just filling them in. Please excuse my horrendous eyebrows, they are so thick and bushy. I hadn't plucked them yet. Um, now they are plucked and they're much easier to fill in and they look much better. I'm taking a spoolie to just help comb the product through as it is a waxy gel. Sometimes it does build up so just running that spoolie through just helps pull the product through and helps sort of feather it out and spread it out and make it look really nice. I kind of stuffed up filling in the front of my eyebrows so I'm just going in with that banana powder that I used before and just kind of covering up where I made the mistakes. I'm now going in with this extender brow by Australis. It's just like a brow gel that helps set the brow hairs in place so they really don't move and I love this stuff. It really makes it feel like they're not going to move at all. Now I'm taking this Australis liquid eyeliner, it's just black, it's sort of in between matte and glossy and I'm doing a fairly thin but sort of long eyeliner look, just kind of watch what I'm doing, it's definitely thinner on the inner quarter but the whole thing is very thin, just kind of look at what I'm doing on this eye and you'll kind of get what I mean. shape we're going for today. I was so happy with that. I nailed that eyeliner. Now I'm just filling it in and making sure it's very, very black. You can see that I'm really excited about that. Um, I've just skipped the other eye because I completely went out of screen when I was doing it, so you can just see I just matched it up. 
I'm now taking a black eyeliner for my waterline, this one's by Skin, and then I'm taking the L'Oreal False Lash Superstar Mascara, and I did only do the step one on camera, I promise you I did put black mascara on off camera, I completely forgot while I was waiting for the white to dry, um, but this is really good, if you use the white one it just kind of makes your eyelashes really nice and long, and then when you put the black on top, your eyelashes look amazing. I'm just trying to make it back home by Monday morning, I swear I was somebody I'm now taking the Astralis Metallic Eyeshadows, and I, this one's in Pearl Jamming, and I'm taking a little eyebrow brush, and really packing that on on the inner corner and blending it out. After that, I'm then moving on to highlighting my face. I'm going back in with my Astralis Take Me On Tour Highlighting and Contouring Kit, and just taking a nice, dense paddle brush and really packing that on. I felt that this wasn't as intense as I wanted it to so I went in with Colourpop Flextrin and the same brush and just put that right on top on the most highest points of my cheekbones, on my cupid's bow and on my nose. Now I'm going in with this Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Mars, it's just a really nice hot pink. This one was really drying and cracked a lot on me throughout the day, but I'll have to play around with it some more and give it another chance because I love this colour. But anyway, I like the um, Ultra Satin Lips a little more than this colour in particular, but I will have to definitely try out some more of their matte shades. So I've just taken out my hair and I'm just giving it a quick brush through and I'm just going to sort of flick it around and get it to sit how I want it to sit. So I hope you guys like this look. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more videos. Anyway, so let me know if you guys recreate this. I'd love to see pictures. So always tag me in them and stuff. I'll leave all my social media linked down below. Bye guys.